Hello friends, today let's solve the longest arithmetic sequence. Given an array A of integers, we need to return the length of the longest arithmetic subsequence in A. And there are some definitions about the subsequence and the arithmetic. And let's see the example. If the given array is 3, 6, 9, 12, we just return 4 because the whole array is a um, valid uh, arithmetic sequence. And uh, this example too, we know we just return 3 because the 4, 7, 10 is the longest arithmetic subsequence we can find. Actually, this problem has some similarity of the longest uh, increasing subsequence. You can check out. So basically, the solution is similar too. At first, uh, get some you know information from the definition of the arithmetic uh, sequence. Let's say the a i a j a k um, are arithmetic. What does that mean? That means a j minus a i equal to a k minus a j. So we know the two times a j equal to a i plus a k. So in that case, if we have two elements which is a j and a k, we can first, uh, oh, I, I mean, we can quickly get the first element, which is 2 times a j minus a k, right? So uh, when we are given two elements, we can try to find whether we have the first element uh, precedingly, I mean, previous in the previous elements. So like if uh, the current two elements is 6 and 9, we know the first element we need to get is 6 times 2 minus 9, which is 3. And we will try to fi figure out whether there is a 3 before 6. Yes, we can find it. So that means the longest arithmetic uh, sequence ending uh, with 6 and 9 is 3, right? So next, we go to the 9 and the 12. The same way, we need to find uh, whether they have 6 before 9, and we can find 6. In that case, we can just use the preceding result, which is 3 plus 1 equal to 4. Why? Because we already calculated the longest arithmetic sequence ending with 6 and 9. So now we try to get uh, the... We, you can treat like we append the 12 on the preceding longest arithmetic sequence. So we just a plus 1. In that case, we need to save the intermediate result, which is the longest ar arithmetic sequence ending with index i and j, right, for the future use. Uh, in that case, we will construct a DP array which means the longest arithmetic sequence ending with a, i, and a, j. You should notice that uh, this is the index in the given array a. Okay, so let's run this example. Of course, we need uh, two for loops because we, uh, we need to uh, use two elements to represent the ending two elements. And we try to find uh, the first element, right? So we need a for loop two for loops. So at first it is 3, 6. We try to find uh, like uh, 3 times 2 minus 6, which is 0. But actually we do not need to calculate because these two elements are just the uh, first two elements in the, in the given array. So there, uh, this is impossible to find the ending elements uh, before 3. So actually all this calculation is just a 2. Okay, then then go to 6, 9, 9. And uh, the first uh, element uh, will just uh, be 6 times 2 minus 9, which is 3. And uh, we did uh, find uh, an element uh, equal to 3 before 6. But uh, how do we know? Uh, the easy way is that we save every element in this corresponding index. So for the 3, we save this index 3 equal to 0. And uh, why can we do that is that the actually the element is quite, uh, you know, in a limited uh, s scope, 0 to 10,000. 
uh, so that uh, we can save every element uh, in the its corresponding index. Okay. So we get uh, the z zero, right? Because three is index is zero. So now we use uh, is a previous saved uh, result, which is dp zero one plus one. So we get three. And then we go to six and twelve. And the first element uh, we try to get is 6 times 2 minus 12, which is 0. And the uh, index 0 um, is not exist. Actually, it's negative 1. So we just uh, continue. And uh, when we done all the, I mean, all the loop uh, start from 6, we should update the index 6 to 1. Because for the f following use, we can now use this 6, so we have to put its uh, uh, index for the use. Okay, so then we go to the 9, 12. The first element we need to get is 9 times 2 minus 12, which is 6. Yes, the index is already exist, and we just get its index, which is 1. So dp23 equal to dp1. 2 plus 1, which is 4. Okay. So, all in all, our solution is just uh, to save the intermediate result uh, of uh, the longest uh, arithmetic uh, subsequence ending with AI and AJ. And we also need uh, an index array to save the element and its uh, corresponding index. Okay, so now let's write the code. We get the n of this array, and we also need a dp array. What about the size of a dp array? Is the dp array is, uh, I mean, it represents the position in the array A, so the size would just uh, be n times n. And we also need the index array. How about the index array size actually is this? I mean, the worst case is the middle element uh, have the largest uh, value and uh, the third element have the minimum value. So its scope will just uh, be 20,001, uh, right? Yeah. Okay. And we should uh, like initialize this index array. Oh, sorry. Fail. This index will uh, be negative 1. So at, at first, all the elements is unavailable. Okay, then we iterate the array. So in the j equal to i plus 1, i less than j, i and j plus plus. Oh, sorry, j less than n, j plus plus. So we try to get the first element, which is a i times 2 minus a j. Okay, so if this first is less than 0, which is which means it's impossible for us to find its cor corresponding index. Otherwise, if the index first is equal to negative 1, we just uh, continue. Otherwise, we find it. So that means dpij ending with these two elements will equal to dp, right? This is index first. And the i plus 1. We also need a global max, which is max equal to 2. Why is 2? Because as you can s imagine, if uh, we can never find the uh, uh, length of three arithmetic uh, sequence, we just uh, return this max, right? As the length is greater or equal than two, so the minimum should just uh, be two other than zero. Okay, so we update the max, 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 and the dpij, and all these four loop the current uh, element. Uh, can be used for the, f uh, I mean, the future use. So index i, i will equal to i. Okay, one thing do not forget. We need to initialize the dp array, dpi equal to 2. The same reason, because there are at least uh, two elements, so it at least be 2. Okay.
Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.